Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back. I'm coming to you very fresh face this morning because we are just about to go out into the heat and get on a train so I thought that I'm not going to bother with makeup this morning but we are off to Cinque Terre. So we're in Pisa at the moment. We got in last night. I actually did attempt to vlog last night and I got a few little bits but I just don't think it's enough to actually put something together or maybe I'll put that stuff in the start of here. I'm not really sure yet but I'm going to refilm this as a new one just in case. Yes, yeah, so we arrived into Pisa yesterday. We just kind of spent the afternoon looking around, went to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, got some some pasta, had some wine, it was really lovely. And then this morning we're just going to head over to Pizza Centrale and we're going to get the train to Cinque Terre. We have to make a stopover somewhere as well, um, like change trains, but I think the whole journey is only about an hour and a half. So yeah, this is such a good place to base yourself if you want to go to Cinque Terre. When you stay in Italy, I don't know if there's a whole of Italy or just this region, but there's like a tax that you have to pay per night as a tourist. So we suddenly remembered this morning that we need to pay a three euro tax, which we have to leave here. And we don't have any euros or like any actual change on us so Keelan's just had to go out to try and find a shop to try and make up like get some change basically but it is past our checkout time so I'm just kind of waiting for them to come in and tell us to leave basically but then yeah like I said we've got a couple of hours wait till our train so I think we're just going to go and get a coffee we've got all our bags with us so I don't think there's much proper exploring that we can do but yeah I'll probably just go sit get a coffee sit in the sun and wait for our train this is relevant to a vlog on Cinque Terre, but I'll just quickly show you our accommodation. Just in case you've done the same as us and you want to start in Pisa. So this was, I think, 90 euros a night, but we booked quite late. There can sleep for us. There's two more beds there. And it was quite a good location to be fair, it was okay. It was about 30 minutes walk down into, down to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but before that there was lots of cafes and restaurants. So yeah, quite happy with it. Maybe a little bit expensive for what it is, but good base. <laughs> Hello, so we've arrived into Cinque Terre, we got the train over but it was all super easy, it only took like an hour and a half total and that was like with a check and change. Just arrived, checked into our accommodation so I'm going to show you that when we get back but I think now, so we're staying in Manarola which is apparently meant to be like a more chilled out one, it's meant to be good for couples and photography so that sounds really good for us. So I think we're just going to go for a general wander now, try and grab a coffee and then check out at the swimming spot around Manarola as well. <laughs> So we just grabbed a quick coffee just up from where we are and now I think we're just going to wander down the main high street and try and get down to the Manarola beach. So we're staying right up the top of the hill but basically if you walk down all the way down to the bottom and then you get to, it's kind of like a beach, it's like the docking bit so there's no actual sand but there's lots of space for you to sit and sunbathe and swim. So we have just grabbed a little spot, we've got our cameras on us so we're having to take turns to go into the water which is a bit annoying but that's key, looking suspiciously like he's died. Yeah, these are the views. It is so, so beautiful. And off this bit just here, loads of people jumping off the front, off the top. How's the water? Perfecto. Perfecto. This is influencers doing everything they can to get the shot. Potentially ruining an iPhone. 14 Pro, whatever it is, just for the shot. Despicable. <laughs> so it is now 8 pm. I'm literally watching the most beautiful sunset. We've sat here, I think we got here since like at five or something, and we just sat here the whole time, like swimming, sunbathing, reading. It's just been so nice, like the nicest most relaxing start to the holiday ever. So in Manarola, the beach here, it's like the beach, it's, I think I said this before, it doesn't have any proper sand or anything, but we were just saying like, actually, it's really nice, you don't get sandy or horrid. There is like space that you can lie down and read and stuff over, I'll show you over there, that's the like, seems to be the more popular bit. Um, but all along there's like little spaces for you to climb in to swim. So yeah, it's just been so lovely. I love it here so much, it's just so beautiful already. So also top tip, so this is just where we were swimming, just along there is kind of the really popular place. But if you walk down along there and then up here, you come to this insane sunset spot, which isn't that popular, like not that many people seem to be here. So I showed you a bit of what we had for dinner. We both got some pizza, but um, that we had people so close to us, I was gonna talk, but I was like, no. And then we have just gone and got some ice cream and now we're gonna head back to the flat now. Plan is tomorrow to get out of Manarola, 
get the train to one of the other villages, which I'm actually really excited for. Manarolo is absolutely beautiful, but I'm kind of excited to see more. And apparently one of them, in one of them, that is a proper beach as well. What have you done today? Muy bueno. <laughs> Muy bueno. Good morning, so it's day two, we've just woken up and got ready. We actually did pop down to one of the shops because we wanted to get some like eggs and uh, bread and things to make some lunch, but um, I didn't sell anything like that, so that's just something to be aware of before you come. So we're just gonna head down to the train station in Manarola now and just jump on a train to one of the other villages. Apparently there's only like a five minute train journey between villages and I think it's five euros per ticket, but I'll check that when I'm down there. to the first little village we just had a wander up the high street Keelan got some focaccia and then we've come down to the harbour here which probably is one of the most like picturesque it's the spot that when you see it in pictures you know it's Cinque Terre I'll show you it now it's so beautiful so we just ended up sitting down by the water for a bit and now we've walked back up into the village and one of the big things that, that people say to do here on the river so what I'm sorry um is you can get cones of different seafood so we've gone for one i'll show you we've just got a cone of the calamari this was i think nine euros and then we also are trying this lemon beer moretti so this tastes nice it's a bit strange i think i like it more than keelan in the end has the calamari good mm. Um, I have a feeling that the vlog finished quite abruptly yesterday. We got, came home, got all ready, and then we wanted to go out to this famous sunset spot in, um, here in Manarola. I'll put the name of it down below. It's like this bar and restaurant, which is really famous, has the most amazing views. Basically, when you arrive, you can get close and then scan a QR code and get added to a virtual queue because it's really, really popular there. Um, but then we went along, so sunset was at 8.30 and we got there by about 7.50 to join the queue, but it said that the queue had closed at 7.15 because they get such a backlog of people. So that's kind of annoying, so we didn't manage to do that. Possibly a blessing in disguise because it wasn't the best sunset ever, it was really cloudy. So in the end, we went back to that first spot that I showed you the night before and it was actually so nice. Our Airbnb host had left us some wine which they'd made from their in their own vineyard so we just bought that down had a glass like had a bottle of wine um and then afterwards we just got some takeaway pizza so there really wasn't much to film which is why it was such an abrupt ending to yesterday but today i'm determined to be better because we're going off to see the other three little villages so we're, we've seen two now so the next one is cornelia then veranza then the final one is let me just check the name of it it is Mon uh, Montoroso. I really apologise to any Italians watching this if I'm just butchering the language here. Yeah, I think we're going to grab a quick coffee here in Manarola, the place that we've been to every single day since we arrived now. Then we're going to head off to Cornelia, we'll get the train. And apparently you can actually walk between Cornelia and Varanza. So, ugh, sorry again about the language. So I think that we're going to maybe walk between them, depending on how hot it is. And then we're going to go to the biggest one at the end, the one that I always forget the name of, Montoros... Mon... Monte Monterosso, and then we're gonna head to Monterosso, where the big beach is, just for an afternoon of sunbathing, I think. Also, I'll just quickly show you our Airbnb because it's so nice. Um, so we didn't actually realise that there's. I'll just see if I can turn on the light. There's two bedrooms. There's that one, and then this is the one that we're staying in because it is absolutely we've messed up so much. We're just disgusting. And then you go through here. And then you've got like the living room and then a kitchen area, which I actually insisted that we have and then we have not actually used once yet, so that's good. This was definitely the cheapest accommodation that we could find, so we were booking super last minute, so I'm sure there are cheaper options. But for us booking last minute and the location, the size, um, how nice it is, and it has the most amazing balcony, I'll show you that as well. Yes, yeah, so you've got the main bedroom and then you come out onto this insane balcony. So yeah, I'm super happy with it. I think it's so good. I will pop the um, the link to this Airbnb in the description of this video. I 
don't know if this camera is going to accurately pick up how disgustingly sweaty I am. So apparently to get to Cornelia you need to climb up about 17,000 steps so that's quite intense. I think if you're not um, that mobile it's not a good idea for you. What do you think? Sweaty boys. Sweaty, sweaty boy. Girls. Look at, oh my gosh, the sweat. Keelan just said that um, I had such a sweaty upper lip and he said I had about 12 beads of sweat and he'd never actually... You had a waterfall on that waterfall. upper lip. He said he'd never actually realised that lips could get that sweaty. Mm. This is about to bloody be worth it. I think we're going to go and get a cold drink. Hopefully have a look around. Oh, that's a cool breeze. We just stopped in the first cafe we came across, which was this one, and we got some drinks. But then they told us that we're not allowed to sit in um, because we only got these drinks, and apparently it's a different price to sit in. So we literally just sit on the steps opposite. That's some old. <laughs> so now we've cooled down a little bit. We're just going to go down into the Cento Historical. I think that just means it's a historical centre, and hopefully see some good views. Make that hike worth it. Probably my favourite vibe to a town that we've been to so far. Like it is really, really cute and wholesome. And it was definitely quieter. So if you want to visit somewhere that is a bit quieter, it was still busy, this is definitely the place to go. We were planning on now going to Veranza, which is the next one along, and then going all the way to the end to go to the beach. But it's already like 3 p.m. Um, and we're so hot. I think we're gonna go all the way to the beach now. Um, and then spend the rest of the afternoon there, have a look around that little village. And then tomorrow, which is actually our final day in Chiquitera, then we're gonna do Veranza tomorrow. just spent a couple of hours on the beach but actually started to get quite cloudy quite quickly so then we've come off it's only about 5.30 we're starving so I think we're going to try and get a coffee and then go for some dinner this island definitely seems to be the most like like maybe touristy I don't know if that's right or not it feels a lot bigger than the other villages we've just come along to this cafe which had really good reviews so we've just got a coffee each got some water as well I also just went to a little shop, I bought a cute little tote bag. I basically get a tote bag everywhere I go. Just super cute and only 8 euros, which I thought was quite good. So we ended up going for dinner in that little village. I think I showed you a bit of our dinner. I'll put the name of that restaurant because that was so nice. I had the ravioli and ragu, like meat ragu, and it was so, so good. And then Keelan had um, linguine seafood, which he thought was really good as well. So yeah, definitely recommend that. But there was a long queue, so I tried to get there either early or late. We went at like the most popular time, like seven, so I think we queued for like 40 minutes or something. Then after that, we just got the train back to our own little village, and then we just got an ice cream, and then we literally just come back and played Scrabble. It's been the most chilled evening evening ever um but tomorrow is actually our last day which I'm so gutted about I feel like this is just just feels like such a break from reality being here so we are going to spend the day just going around our own little village there's a few little spots that I still want to go to and then we're just going to go down to the harbour and I think just have like a really relaxing afternoon and then at 5 30 in the afternoon then we've got our train back to Pisa so I'll bring you along with us tomorrow that was the thing that I was going to say we were going to go to that third village which is the uh, Veranza one um tomorrow and we may still do it but we're a bit in two minds I kind of wish that we'd just done it today but it was just so hot that we just didn't and then tomorrow we're now not sure if we're going to have enough time because we want to go around Manuela as well um so yeah stay tuned and I'll see whether we actually end up doing that but for now, we are going to pack up, we need to tidy this whole Airbnb, get all our stuff together, and then I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. So we are just getting ready to check out our accommodation now. The woman's going to come by and take the key off us and then give us somewhere to store our bags as well, which is really, really useful. So like I said yesterday, I think we're just going to do Manorola today. So yeah, today will be a proper explanation of exploration of all the best spots around Manorola. 
So that balcony just there is where we were staying. So after having a quick wander around the top of Manuela, we've just headed back down to the harbour and we've just been sunbathing for like an hour. It's just so beautiful here and there's lots of people, I'll show you in a second, there's like a cliff bit and there's lots of people jumping down off that, so that's kind of fun to watch. I think we're going to stay here for about another hour and then we're going to head and I think get some lunch before then we have to head for our train to Pisa. Just over there where the cliff jumping is probably the more popular space to sunbathe, but we've come down here and we're just loving this bit at the moment. Also, you know I said the other night that we tried to go to a restaurant on the cliff, that's the one that we tried to go to. She basically walk all the way up along, that's like the famous sunset spot, and then you walk there. And that's meant to be a restaurant with amazing views, but we never ended up going in the end. <laughs> long time no speak, um, and actually longer than you even realise right now, because it is actually currently the 10th of November and obviously this was filmed in the summer, I literally think this was filmed at the start of August or something. I basically could not find the memory card that all of this footage was saved on, I had the first little bit and since then I've been searching my memory cards for it, I finally found it, I think I'd given it to Keelan to use but I hadn't thought to check his memory cards. Anyway so that's why there's a massive delay on this video but like when I was watching it back I really liked it, it's not obviously not like super informative but I just think it's a really like nice one, like I was so happy in it, love Cinque Terre so much so I just was like I'm just going to get the video up anyway. Also apologies for this horrible lighting, I don't know what's going on because I had the light on and I had the lamp on, um, but it is just really horrific, um, it has been a long day as you can tell. But as always thank you so much for watching, um, I just today booked flights to Copenhagen so I'm going there in two weeks time and then in December I'm also going to Edinburgh so I think also squeezing another little trip in between that. So yeah, stay tuned, I'll definitely be doing videos for both of them, um, thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!